Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the gaming review for the Arcos uh, gamepad. So obviously this is a pretty big deal for this tablet especially because this is made for gaming. Uh, so we will be doing uh, four games in the game review. Sonic 4 Episode 1, The Dark Knight Rises, uh, Need for Speed, as well as uh, Modern Combat 4. As you see, I only have two games on here. Unfortunately, if you are playing uh, big size games, they cannot all be put on the same time because one of the downsides of this tablet is you only have eight gigs of built-in storage. So um, we're gonna break this down for a little bit, uh, but this too should go fine and launch fine um, without slowing down or uh, messing up because of the uh, built-in storage. So uh, let's start this off with uh, Sonic Episode 4. Now, uh, one thing I will point out with this game, this game is a platformer game and it automatically detects that uh, it, what title it is and it's already made to work with it. So that's one thing I really like about the gamepad. Um, they have uh, made it work with a lot of top games out on the market right now and it detects it so it already sets it up for you. And let me turn this down a little bit. Another thing I do like about it is the front stereo speakers, which it does a very good job with. And as I start the new game, I want to point out um, if you want to change how the buttons are mapped, this is where you go right here. And you can see the pre-mapped buttons for this game. So it's very simple. You have X and you have the joystick and that's pretty much it. So that's all you need for this game. Uh, but you could change it if need be. So that's just a nice feature that it has built into it. And now let's play. I missed that over there, didn't I? Oops. Just making sure you guys can see it and I can play it. Let's try that the other way. No, the other way, Sonic. Whoa, crazy. Ah, damn it. Damn you all to hell. Hey, where are my coins? That was messed up. I was tricked. And so this one really doesn't stutter at all. It plays very well, as you can see. I was seeing if I could beat it, but... Boom! Ah, you son of a... Stupid lizard. Damn it! There we go. Okay. So as you can see, that one played pretty well. And now let's try The Dark Knight Rises. And I believe this game also maps out. Yep. So this game is already mapped out as well, which again, just is nice that Arcos kind of already took the time uh, to basically find the top games out and uh, map them uh, for really good support. I mean, you have to give them credit where credit is due. Arcos definitely has supported their tablet uh, 
very well in terms of that. I mean, just since I've got this tablet, I've gotten at least four updates on the uh, controllers. So uh, they're definitely, it seems like, looking at all the new games that come out and making sure their controller works with them. Also, front speakers make it really nice. Uh, the only thing I really wish this had, um, of course, in terms of uh, processor and more importantly, graphics card actually, and then um, the storage. That, that, those are the main things that I've seen thus far that just would make this tablet the perfect gaming uh, tablet. Oh. Also, another important thing to note: um, I've had some uh, some people say they thought, uh, oh, well, just noticing some jagged movement right there. Uh, I've noticed people say, "Well, I mean, I'd just rather have a Nexus with a PS3 controller." But the point is that this game works with a lot of games that the Nexus, uh, the PS3 controller, wouldn't necessarily work with without rooting. So that's the nice part about having this. Um, this, however, is not. Uh, the best. You can see it's kind of uh, pausing a little bit on these graphics. Let's skip this and let's see what the layout looks like. So joystick 1, joystick 2, man I have a lot of buttons here. L1, R1, L1. Okay so let's see if I can remember this. Of course you can customize this if you don't like the layout that they preset. Uh, you can change it if you choose to. Where's the limo? Anyone see a limo? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you guys can see it okay. Which button was that? Ah, that was it? No? Ah, A. See what the hell this is. Okay, R1. Bam! So it looks like once you know the controllers, they are a lot easier. The R1 again. Yep. Ugh. Lag. So that one's X. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be. Is that Batman? No. Boom. Oh no, it froze. Okay. So we're seeing the first lag with this obviously, you know, more intense game. Boom. I mean, I like the way it plays with the controller, but dang, that was some serious lag.
Wait, towards what point? Okay, well, obviously you can see how the game is playing. I need to stay focused. <laughs> Screw you, Batman. That red line is really hard to see from this viewing angle, which is another thing this tablet does not have the best, and that's viewing angles. No. Oh. There we go. All right. So that was this game, and now let's go to the next one. All right, guys, and now we're going to be moving to the higher end games, which first we're going to start off with Need for Speed, Most Wanted. So we'll see how this plays. Um, again, one thing about this tablet is you uh, do not have much built-in storage, and even though it says you can move to the SD card, it doesn't really seem to work, um, just upon my testing. And so I've not mapped out the controllers to this yet, so first I'm going to see if it works natively. If not, I will map out the controllers, of course, as uh, needed. And it's not running hot at all right now, which is good. Tilting control. Controls. Let's do the dragon steer. Okay. So Let's pause that. Do this. So now I should uh, be able to move. So see, I can move it bigger if I want to. Um, which is fine, and then press A. So I believe this is all I need, and for our target, I'll move it over here, because I believe that will be for dash, if I remember correctly. Okay. So as you can see, now I can control this with the joystick, which is a lot easier. However, my slide is not working for the swipe up, but the joystick is a lot easier now to control this for the game. Ooh, maybe I should have seen that. My car's not looking in the best shape anymore. So actually I just saw that I can actually hold it down to drift, so I'm going to put a button here. So that'll be for drifting. And, oops. See if I can actually do that. Okay. 
All right. So now I can do that button to drift. And I can move this up to do turbo, which is nice. So this is actually a game that works really well now with the new controls. I play the game even though I failed but you know so that was need for speed and now we're gonna try modern combat 4 now this game doesn't run smooth I will uh, delete need for speed it's taken up a lot of storage Yes, um, okay, so I'm going to uh, take off uh, Need for Speed and we'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry I had to uninstall that one and now we're going to do Modern Combat 4. Alright, and the nice thing about this game, it is already uh, detects Modern Combat 4 controllers so it should work natively without needing to set up the controllers like I just did for the Need for Speed game. A little bit of a stutter there. Make sure nothing else is on. Okay, let me close out all these things. Go, go easy, guys. You know, just so don't die right in the middle of this. You know, you know it should be easier with these controllers, but we'll see how they run. I like it when it's like native to it, but I wish they would kind of tell you. Okay, actually they kind of do. So joystick two is right there. B, A, R1. So it is pre-laid out and I don't think I'll remember all this, but we'll see. Now let's see how this runs. run the movie okay although we can see the graphics card and how it's doing isn't the most the best graphics we've seen for this game the sound is really good though again because the front stereo speakers and you don't really cover it all right 
skip that. Okay. I think A was running. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Think got it now. Sorry guys, this does not have the best glare. That's a little hard to see. Oh, it's hard to see the sand be good at it, but the... Uh... Follow me! The right controller is... The right joystick is a little stiff, I must admit, for, like, easiness. Oh, I gotta take them out. Yeah, the right joystick is uh, just not as responsive as I would want it to be. You can guys kind of see it's just not as ideal, I would say. It's kind of like I have to, you have to hold it really to get it right. But that's how it's played. I mean, the buttons are really nice and they help out a lot, but in terms of just the movement of uh, this panning joystick, just gonna, oh, and it just froze a little bit. Alright guys, so that was the gaming review for the Arco Salad. So as you can see, uh, on higher end games it tended to stutter and uh, this joystick just wasn't uh, as responsive as I would like it to be. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know any other types of videos you'd want to see this with. Thank you for watching. This has been RCKY, the Android Guy.